in this session we will discuss about the imaging patterns and uh, staging of hcc as per newer concepts and role of uh, lyrets in it so it is uh, necessary to obtain a uh, good quality images for the imaging purpose of a uh, uh, of a space occupying lesion in the cirrhotic parenchyma and for this purpose we are doing a triple phase study in either ct or mri if the mr is available mr is always preferable over the ct scan in triple phase study we are doing three phases late arterial phase portal venous and delayed phase late arterial phase it is the phase where the hcc enhances the maximum because hcc derives its uh, majority of the blood supply from the hepatic arteries and rest of the parenchyma it derives its blood supply from the portal vein so in the late arterial phase the hcc stands out in the portal venous phase and delayed phase we we'll look for the washout of the lesion and if we are performing mr we are taking t1 in phase and out phase images for the detection of fat within the lesion t2 weighted images t2 fat saturated images and diffusion weighted images additionally now after obtaining the images we are following the lyrets that is the liver imaging reporting and data system why lyrets has uh, replaced the conventional reporting system lyrets uh, describes the lesion in cirrhotic parenchyma as into a particular category and according to that category the patient can be followed up or managed by the consulting physician it is built upon the experience of american association for the study of liver diseases it was launched in 2011 and underwent certain modifications in 2014 and 17 but it has simplified the diagnostic algorithm and it also guides for the treatment purpose so which is the what is the scope of lyrets what is the diagnostic population all the adults over the age of 18 years who are suffering from cirrhosis chronic hepatitis b infection having prior or current hcc on treatment patient liver transplant candidates and recipients they are included uh, in the lyrets diagnostic population pediatric population and cirrhosis due to vascular causes such as bartchiari syndrome they are excluded so which are the various categories of uh, lyrets lrnc that is the category not commentable that describes the inadequate study to comment upon the tumor status LR1 that describes lesions like cyst or hemangioma which are definitely benign LR2 it describes the lesion which may, which are probably benign LR3 indicates intermediate probability of hcc LR4 indicates high probability of hepatocellular carcinoma LR5 indicates definite hcc LR5 TIV means definite hcc with tumor in vein tumor which has invaded the portal vein LR5T is the treated observation and LRM variety where there is definite uh, malignancy is there the observation is malignant but it is not fulfilling the criteria of HCC so what are the major criteria according to the lyrets for the diagnosis of hepatocellular carcinoma so any tumor in the cirrhotic background which is showing non rim arterial phase hyper enhancement uh here the i would stress upon the word non rim the lesion core should always show the hyper enhancement not only the margin and similarly when we are looking for the washout the lesion should show non rim type of washout and portal portal venous and delayed phases enhancing capsule the capsule it enhances in the delayed phase because it is composed of fibrotic material and it is having some extra cellular matrix so it gathers the contrast in the delayed phase and in delayed phase we can see a sharp enhancing capsule lesions which are having enhancing capsule they respond better to the medical or surgical treatment than those lesions which are not having capsule so capsule it is also having a positive prognostic outcome size of the lesion according to lyrets usually the lesions which are greater than 2 cm in size they have propensity to diagnosed as hcc although the lesions between 10 to 19 mm in size which are showing certain characteristic they can be diagnosed as hcc threshold growth how we define threshold growth when the lesion it has grown 50% or more over period of 6 months 
or 100% or more growth is seen over the period of more than 6 months or appearance of a nodule in cirrhotic parenchyma which was not there in previous 24 months and now having at least size of 10 mm. So these are the major criteria. So this is a classical case of HCC where we are seeing in the pre-contrast phase the lesion is there which is showing non-rim type of arterial phase hyper enhancement. We are seeing that the core of the lesion it is enhancing. In the portal venous phase and delayed phase we can appreciate there is a washout from the lesion which is also non-rim type. The capsule of the lesion it has enhanced in the delayed phase. So this is fulfilling all the criteria. We are not having the previous scan otherwise we can comment upon the threshold growth but this is a classical definite case of HCC. Which are the ancillary features which support the diagnosis of uh, hepatocellular carcinoma according to Lyrids? Sometimes the capsule may not show enhancement. Nodule in nodule appearance, mosaic architecture of the lesion due to fat, hemorrhage and multiple nodules contained within a single lesion, fat in the lesion, blood products within the lesion, restricted diffusion and T2 hyperintensity within the lesion. These are the supporting ancillary features. So these are the ancillary features like uh, mild to moderate T2 hyperintensity within the lesion. When the lesion is containing uh, fat within it, here we can see in the in phase image the lesion is having bright, uh, bright pattern while on out phase image it is completely suppressed. Restricted diffusion and distinctive rim, they also support the diagnosis of HCC. Sometimes the lesion may show mosaic architecture due to nodule in nodule appearance or multinodular appearance and these are also favoring features for HCC. So this is the most important table of lyrets according to which we should diagnose a patient. So when we are having an observation within the cirrhotic parenchyma and we are sure that it is definitely benign like it is having a, it is a cyst like lesion, it is a hemangioma like lesion that it is a LR1 category that is definitely benign. If we are dealing the, with the lesion like focal con, liver uh, confluent fibrosis or some of the cirrhotic nodules like le, uh, regenerative nodules or siderotic nodules, they are probably benign category and they are put under LR2. Now the question comes when we are dealing with the lesions which are not definitely or probably benign. In the malignant lesions, in frank malignant lesions, we may find the invasion of the vein and that would be directly put into LRTIV category. Similarly, the lesions which are malignant but not following the characteristic of HCC, sometimes the cholangiocarcinomas or hepatocholangiocarcinomas or any other types of malignancy which may occur in the cirrhotic background and they are put under LRM category. Treated observation, they would, be, they would fall in LRTR category. So now the question comes for the uh, Lyrets 3, 4 and 5 category and uh, these are the questionable lesions. So here we have to see few of the criteria. like first of all we have to look for the arterial phase enhancement of the lesion whether it is, it is hypo enhancement, iso enhancement or non-rim type of hyper enhancement. Second thing is we have to look at the size of the lesion and then these three factors enhancing capsule, non-peripheral washout and threshold growth. So according to Lyrets, when the lesion it is showing arterial phase hyper enhancement, it is having size of greater or equal to 2 cm and it is having any one of these three features means enhancing capsule, non-peripheral washout or threshold growth. Any, any one of these three features along with these two, they are sufficient enough to diagnose the HCC. So if we are dealing with the lesion which is having size of 2 cm or more and it is showing non-rim type of arterial phase hyper enhancement and any one feature washout, capsule or threshold growth it is present then it is a definite HCC LR5 lesion. If we are dealing with the lesion between 10 to 19 mm in size and it is showing non-rim type of arterial phase hyper enhancement and if we can find out any of these two washout or threshold growth then it can be diagnosed as HCC. The capsule alone it cannot be the factor to diagnose the HCC and uh, we need washout or threshold growth along with it to diagnose it as HCC. So now let's move on to few of the cases. Here in this case we can see a T2 hyper intense lesion in the cirrhotic parenchyma. 
which is hypo intense on T1 weighted pre contrast fat saturated images. And in arterial phase and in delayed phase, it is showing no enhancement of uh, no enhancement at all. So it is fulfilling the criteria of the simple cyst and simple cyst it falls into the Lyrets 1 category. This is another case where we are seeing a focal hyper intensity on T2 fat saturated images. And there is also associated contraction of liver surface. It is appearing hypo intense on T1 weighted images. On arterial phase, there is linear enhancement. And in delayed phase images, we can see the persistent enhancement along with this contracted liver surface. This was a case of uh, focal confluent fibrosis and it was a probably benign lesion. So it was put into Lyrets 2 category. Now this is interesting where we are seeing the cirrhotic parenchyma. The, uh, this is irregular margins of the liver and there is presence of hyper enhancing lesion in arterial phase. We are barely able to see the lesion on T2 weighted image or T1 weighted image. Even on delayed, there is no washout signs and uh, we are not able to appreciate image on these three images. Only arterial phase is showing a hyper enhancing lesion, which is between 10 to 19 mm in size. So let's go to the table. According to that, we are having arterial phase non rim hyper enhancement of the lesion. The size of the lesion is between 10 to 19 mm. And it is showing none of these features, enhancing capsule, peripheral, non-peripheral washout, threshold growth. No features is uh, available in this lesion. So it will fall into LR3 category. Again, the similar kind of lesion where we can see arterial phase hyper enhancement is there. And it is not showing washout in delayed phase. In the delayed phase, the lesion it should become hypo, uh, hypo intense to the surrounding parenchyma. Otherwise, we cannot label it as a washout. The lesion should become hypo intense to surrounding parenchyma. On the T2 weighted image, it is showing somewhat hyper intensity. If we go according to the table, now the lesion, it is around 2 cm in size. It is uh, showing arterial phase hyper enhancement. And it is showing none of the uh, it is showing none of the features from this three. So it will fall into LR4 category. Now, this is a classical case of uh, hepatocellular carcinoma with the lesion size of 10 to 19 mm. Here we can see on pre contrast images, the lesion is not much appreciable, but in arterial phase, it is showing hyper enhancement. In the portal venous and delayed phase, it is showing washout. Here, here we are not seeing capsule, but the washout is very much evident. The lesion has become hypodense to surrounding parenchyma. So according to the Lyrets, this is a 10 to 19 mm size lesion, which is having arterial phase hyper enhancement, and it is showing characteristic non-peripheral washout. This feature is available. So it would fall under LR5 category. Again, uh, this is a classical case of HCC as we saw earlier in the pre contrast image. We can see that the lesion is there, which is showing characteristic non peripheral type of intense enhancement within the core of the lesion. And it is showing washout in the portal venous and delayed phase with enhancing capsule. So this is a classical LR5 definite HCC lesion. Now this is a treated observation where we can see the arterial phase hyper enhancing lesion is present. After treatment, the lesion is showing no enhancement at all. So this is having just a lesion cavity is present and no residual or recurrent lesion is present there. Again, a treated observation where we can see arterial phase hyper enhancing lesion. It is there. It is showing the washout. After treatment, we are able to appreciate a nodule within the treated cavity that suggests the residual or recurrent lesion. Now the imaging for the staging purpose uh, is also useful. So we need to mention the size of the lesion very precisely. Multiplicity if at all present, vascular invasion, any nodal disease or metastasis and grading of ascites which helps in the child bug scoring system. Apart 
from diagnosing the hcc we need to mention certain other points which will help the operating surgeon or the phys or the treating physician and this points are uh, to be look for splenomegaly portal hypertension and any sort of collaterals within the abdomen degree of ascites atrophy hypertrophy complex within the liver any sort of variations in the hepatic artery portal venous system and bile duct system if present in the differential diagnosis list we can include hypervascular metastasis adenoma fnh and neuroendocrine tumors although they may not show the characteristic washout which is seen in case of the hcc and uh, there are certain underlying epidemiological and etiological factors especially in adenoma and fnh which may help to diagnose the lesion so i will like to conclude my talk with this thank you mm -hmm.